Amidst the fervent discussions in Austin, Texas, over its declaration as an LGBTQ sanctuary city, lies a contentious debate on gender-affirming treatments for minors. Hi, my name is Ether Dixon. I live here in Austin's 3rd District, and I experienced extreme gender dysphoria from a young age, leading to me coming out as transgender at 13. I began begging for hormone blockers and testosterone, constantly slept and sometimes showered in unsafe chest binders, started self-harming and cutting body parts that made me look feminine, all before I started seeing a gender therapist as a mid-teen who helped move my family to accept my identity using the phrase, do you want a dead daughter or a living son? After a routine fight and breakdown, I was finally allowed to start cross-sex hormones just after turning 17. One visit later, I rode the high of gender euphoria, finally getting to further the transition I had been working all of my life for. Months into starting tea, I was diagnosed with a cardiovascular intolerance, having constant issues with heart regulation and passing out. I continued taking the testosterone, causing constant mood swings and later excruciating joint pain. Still, I believe these drugs were saving my life despite so clearly disabling it. A stray thought ultimately asking, why am I so distressed in myself and how people perceive me, is what began to unravel my world at 19. I am now 21, still unpacking the trauma that made me want to cut off body parts, dealing with complications of steroid use like vaginal atrophy, extreme joint pain, and discomfort from permanently changing my sex characteristics, all for how I identified and was affirmed in my trauma from a child to adult. The legislation this item is against is not taking away rights or anatomy. It is regulating experimental medicine on children in a non-criminal way. Save every kid from the unnecessary hormone complication and lost body parts. Question why kids and adults are rejecting their sexes and give these kids the therapeutic supports they need and deserve to love and accept their selves and bodies. Say no to Proposal 64. Thank you. This contentious issue sparks debates on medical ethics, parental autonomy, and the well-being of transgender adolescents. Safeguarding minors from potential risks is paramount. Ensuring that medical decisions are grounded in evidence-based methodologies. Procedures like sex reassignment surgery, adolescent hormone blockers, often referred to as chemical castration, and cross-gender hormones are seen as invasive interventions with potential long-lasting ramifications on both physical and mental health. The discourse often pits the right of minors to self-determination against parental authority, potentially fracturing familial harmony. The intricate interplay of gender identity, mental health, and societal influences in the transgender journey underscores the complexity of the issue. Factors such as past trauma, societal pressures, and the pursuit of affirmation play significant roles in shaping an individual's decision to pursue gender-affirming treatment. Moreover, robust mental health support is indispensable for empowering transgender adolescents to navigate their gender identity journey and make informed healthcare choices. The vulnerability of transgender adolescents in the face of societal trends, particularly the pervasive influence of social media, underscores the significance of age in this discourse. Certain ages necessitate protection, while others demand empowerment and autonomy.